hello guys welcome back to the channel i hope your afternoon is going really well so i just wanted to drop a quick update on uh the nigerian super eagles and how they have been faring since they got to abidjan uh, the capital city of ivory coast which is a country that is hosting the nation's cup uh this january 13th is the day that it's going to start which is next tomorrow and then nigeria has a first match on on 14th against equatorial guinea and there has been a lot uh, there, there have been a lot of issues to be to be honest you know regarding uh nigeria super eagles camp right now and of course uh, i don't want to be a bearer of bad news or sad news but in this video uh, obviously there's a sad news a bit of a sad news here because uh uh, there has been an update that Omar Sadiq is someone that you know could potentially miss the first match because he has now been uh, found to uh, be to have an injury, a sort of injury. He he trained with a band on his leg, and apparently, what's now uh, been circulating uh, is the fact that he may be missing that match because of injury. That injury, I don't know where he got it, but rumors are that he got that injury from the last uh, game against, uh, the last friendly against Guinea where we lost 2-0. That was, you know, you know, where the rumor is coming out from that he sustained that injury. So what this means now is that Pocero actually just have only one striker available to him, you know, for the first match of the AFCON, after AFCON group stage. And that guy is Osime. Osime is the only striker that is fully fit and ready to play. And this is very funny because Nigeria is, you know, a country that boasts of, you know, world-class strikers, quality strikers everywhere, not only in Africa, but in the world at large. You know, we know, we they know Nigeria as a country that has these top strikers. But it's funny that, actually even sad that Os Osima is the only guy available. Victor Boniface has been taken by injury. Uh, uh, we are still struggling to get Ihan Acho from injury. Uh, Terry Murphy, very good reliable striker he hasn't uh come into the camp because he's still being held up by his club so that one is you know that one is out of sight at the minutes until he arrives in camp so uh, what's happening this minute as i uh, speak to you is that omar sadiq has now been uh be, is now being attended to by the medical team and they are trying as much as possible to get him to you know to be fit or to try and recover him from injury so that he will be able to you know at least be in contention for the next for the first match so that we, it doesn't happen that okay we have only osimi as striker striking option for that game so they are working really hard to try and uh, you know what know what's happening and you know how to fix it uh the good news is it it doesn't seem like it's a very serious injury it's based on the reports it's just a knock uh, and of course uh uh you know it's it's something that he could easily shake off it's possible that he might even be in contention for the for the uh for the opener opener group stage game so but that is that's on that front and of course as 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 uh, as earlier stated they may already made their training first training after they landed they landed yesterday afternoon uh they couldn't wait to jump into action you know into the whole thing that brought them to ivory coast so they had to train yesterday night uh did the trainings and then yeah, you know they followed the whole process Bosere was in charge of the whole thing and the guys actually showed some really good spirit some really good commitment some fire in them in that training to you know to actually show that they are serious what they came to do and uh you know that was that everything went well and the only uh, negative from uh the camp at this moment is the fact that umar sadiq is now uh, you know being rumored to uh have an injury that could potentially make him uh miss that opener game but let's hope it's not something serious let's hope it's something that they can you know uh provide a quick fix for and then we get to see him line up with the super eagles uh you know when they uh, officially kick off their campaign so guys that's the bit of news coming out from the super eagles abidjan camp at this minute and i'll be sure to always update you guys what's going on around the nigerian super eagles through this whole afcon tournament and beyond
uh that's the video guys thanks for catching this one don't forget to subscribe guys subscribe to the channel if you've not done so let's take the channel subscribers to a thousand that's the aim right now we are almost in, in getting to 900 or, or thereabouts let's take it to a thousand so subscribe to the channel thank you for catching this one and i wish you a blessed day